over the last week, I have run into more people at church, which has been great. It's been great seeing uh, faces that I haven't seen for a few months and being able to talk from a distance to each other and just to catch up. And I've noticed one thing when talking to a lot of people and they're still very positive, very upbeat, and yet there's still something that just, you can tell we're still struggling. It's hard. It's been hard to be quarantined. It's been hard to not be in fellowship with each other. And a lot of times we just feel alone and um, we're stuck with our own families, which sounds horrible to say stuck with, but uh, we love them, uh, but we're still excited to see other people and to get in touch with other people. And so that kind of prompted me to look at um, kind of almost from a children's perspective of how can we be encouraged by this? Because sometimes uh, the Bible can be confusing or you search through it and you're still not sure exactly where you should be looking. And so I went to this Love Letters from God book that I have, and I have girls. This one's for girls. But the story that I'm going to read to you applies to the situation. And um, it just simplifies the story a little bit and just encourages us uh, to be strong through this and not to give up hope um, that God's still there and that he still cares for us and to be strong through this. And so the letter I'm going to read to you is considered um, the letter to the strong girl or the strong guy. Um, and this story is specifically about a girl. It's about Deborah, but it also involves a man named uh, Barak or Barak. And so I'm going to read about Deborah uh, to encourage us today. And this story is taken from Judges chapters four and five. Deborah sat quietly under the big palm tree, fanning herself with a leaf in the heat of the noonday sun. She was listening to God. Deborah knew that her people, the Israelites, were in danger. She knew all about the wicked Sisera who had been cruel to the Israelites for 20 years. She knew how strong his army was, but Deborah also knew God was stronger. And calmly and confidently, she sent for Barak, the leader of her army. Barak, she said, gather 10,000 men. God is going to help you defeat Sisera. What? Barak cried as his knees started to knock. Judge Deborah, did you know that Sisera has 900 chariots made of iron? I'm not going unless you come with me. Deborah stood up and smiled. Stay calm, Barak, she said quietly. I will go with you. Barak assembled his army and began to march towards Mount Tabor. His knees were still knocking, but Deborah's weren't. Calmly and confidently, she marched alongside 10,000 men until they reached the mountain. Go, Barak, she ordered. God has gone ahead of you. And it was true. As Barak marched out with his army, God overturned all those strong iron chariots, and the Israelites won. Barak was overjoyed. Judge Deborah had so much to teach him about staying calm and trusting in God. That evening, as the sun went down, Deborah and Barak sat together under the palm tree and sang a song of praise to God. And for the first time that day, Barak's knees stopped knocking. Now the Bible doesn't necessarily say his knees were knocking, but when you're going against this awful army and you're not sure if you're going to win, it can be a little hard to be confident, right? And that's kind of how we feel now. We're in this battle, not against a huge army of men, but a battle of um, mental wherewithal and health and fear. Um, and they had a lot of the same emotions going into this battle. And yet God is there, right? Through the judge Deborah, God's presence is with the people, just like his presence is with us through the Holy Spirit and Jesus today. And part of this book, it's called Love Letters, and they take this and write a love letter from God to us, his people. And so here's the letter that goes along with this one to encourage us through this story today. Don't you wish you could have seen Deborah marching with those 10,000 men? What a wonderful sight to see. Do you know where Deborah's strength came from? It was me. Deborah spent time with me every day, and she knew that I would help her be calm and strong when she needed it most. Be calm, be confident, be strong, trust in me, your strong friend, God. And so God has wonderful words to us, right? He wants to encourage us. He wants us to trust in him. And so even when we're at our wits end with our kids or with our spouse or with this entire situation, um, we need to realize, right, that our confidence, our calmness, our strength comes from God. 
And so I hope this story encouraged you today. And I want to leave you with one last verse from Isaiah 30, verse 15. You will receive strength. Sorry, let me start again. You will receive the strength you need when you stay calm and trust in me. And the last thing sometimes we want to do is stay calm right now. And yet that's exactly what we're called to do. Through turmoil, through craziness, through tiredness, through fatigue, through anxiety, God calls us to stay calm and we will receive the strength that we need if we trust in him. And so I hope that encourages you today and through this time period. And um, yeah, uh, let's close with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your words from scripture today. God, you've put stories and events in the Bible to encourage us, God. And um, the Israelites were going against a massive army trying to invade them. And God, we don't have an army of people trying to invade us, but God, there's an army of thoughts, of emotions, of events, um, just so many things going on in the world today, God, that feel like we're being attacked spiritually, mentally, uh, physically, sometimes with our health. God, there's so many things. And so we just pray that you would encourage us, that you would lift us up. Um, and we just thank you for providing your word for us and your promises, because God, you keep your promises. And so we thank you for that. We thank you for loving us. And we pray that um, you will just give us the strength that we need, God, but help us to turn towards you in order to find that strength. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm.